right now is a total definition of what this show is gonna be about ladies and gentlemen and of course in just a few words to explain what's going on right now it is the cultural gala and guess who's hosting it Victoria University is hosting a cultural gala where so many nationalities including Ugandans Kenyans Tanzanians people from West Africa people here in Uganda but in the West the North are showcasing their traditions culture and norms. Right about now, I'm going to be talking to many of them to find out what makes their cultures unique from the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show right about now. from Ghana over here uh, I see a lot of cuisines being prepared and they're gonna be telling us more about them how are you doing fine thank you uh, what's your good name my name is Alberta Alberta so how does they say how are you in your language in Ghana it's the same it's, it's the same it's the same can you say a yeah okay ask me. it's the same uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do they call that language by the way it's tree Shui. Shui. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there is a lot we don't know about the world. So if you think you're in Uganda and the world stops here, there is a lot you don't know. Yeah. So today is the culture gala and uh, what are you showcasing uh, yeah. tonight? Uh, I showcase, this is Kele Wole. Kele Wole. Yeah, made out of gonja. gonja Miss with, yeah, you can. Okay. I want to test. I'll, I'll t guys, please don't envy me. I'm going to tell you how it tests. Fix it like that. Yeah, it is mixed with ginger, ginger, garlic, onions, then you fry, you deep fry, yeah. And this is chicken sauce, so it's called chicken stew. Chicken stew. Stew, stew. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. From Ghana, we're switching into another culture, another country, Somalia. How are you doing? We are doing man. Today we are very excited. We are sure very yeah, What's we are your name? Very My name is Marian Hussein. Okay, and how about you? How are you fine, brother. How are you? Ifra. Ifra. So how do they say, how are you, in your local language over there? Set a high. Set a high. Yeah. Okay. Then when you're blind, you would write, I'm um, um, fi a high, means I'm fine. Yeah. Fianna High. Yeah. You know Seta High, it looks like this school in Uganda called Seta High. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about uh, what you have for us today. So this is, what is the official meal for people in Somalia? Just we have, and um, this is uh, for our rice. Okay. Even you can test it. Also, okay. open it and receive very well. Yeah, money. What do they call that rice? Berries. And also we have milk of camel. Milk of camel? Yeah. So you mean camel give us milk? 
Yeah. I didn't know. So is, is it really the milk from Camel or yeah, is it? It's a since camel. you're here, okay, for today. Is it? Did you get it from the camel or you got it from uh, our normal normal cows in Uganda? Just we get for for home camel. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, that is Somalia for you. So we're gonna switch, talk to more people uh, from Nigeria and find out what's making their culture a bit unique. We have heard about them uh, when it comes to entertainment. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm okay, what's your name? Hasia Ibrahim. Hasia, uh, which course are you doing here at VU? Nothing. Nothing. So Nigerians, it seems like people have been eating your food. You don't even have anything, yeah? Yeah? Yes. Every, who, over you guys ate it yourselves? No. People love your food here in Uganda? Yeah, of course. It's Chad Jello Fried. <laughs> Jello Fried? Yeah. Everyone was excited about it? Yeah, you see. No fried so one, one question for you. What makes your culture unique from the rest? Well, we are very proud of our country. That's what I can see. Sure thing. Yeah, we are very proud. Everybody is proud of their culture, no. but there is, there are there is those the things, like for example, food in Uganda, we're proud of Machoke. You get? Mm -hmm. We love our dancers, yeah? So what do you, what are you proud of? What makes you unique? Our culture, our dance, our food, our dress. It's considered I'm All right, I'm now this is called what? Kitenge? In, in Tanzania, it's called Kitenge. They have Kitenge. So how is it different from that one from Nigeria? Um, basically, we, maybe, what differentiates it is what we call it. Like now, we call it Zani. Atampa, yeah. And here with me, I'm with a gentleman who represented the entire country. How are you? I'm very okay. Fine. How's it going? Very perfect. People would like to know your name. <laughs> My name is uh, Mike Mbikamboli Edu from okay. Congo. Congo. So now, this guy said that Congo is 10 times bigger than Uganda. And I'm wondering, what's there? Who occupies all that space? Are they mountains? Is it gold? Is it people? Are they buildings? What's happening there? Actually, Congo is a very huge country. As I said in my speech, it's 10 times bigger than Uganda. And um, only 89% is occupied by people. And the rest of the country is only forests. Okay. So how do they call that dance? Because how do you call it salsa? That is rumba. 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 Rumba is the root of salsa, yeah, yeah. the root of all those uh, dances that you are saying around. Yes. I just switched on to another culture, one of our sister countries, that is South Sudan. How are you doing, guys? We're fine. We're fine, thank you. You, good? Yeah. Yes, you look so happier than ever. Why? Thank you. Because it's culture there and we're representing our country. Sure What's the name? Akwa Zakaria Deng. Uh, which course? Uh, I'm doing uh, um, business administration. And you first thought about it, you're not sure about your course? <laughs> because I'm nervous. Uh, okay, and yeah. how about your name? Uh, my name is Nyakun Kai. Uh -huh. I'm a student at Victoria University. I'm uh, doing a uh, bachelor in public health. I'm in my second year. So today we, people are showcasing food, dressing, uh, they're going to be doing some performances. So what are you going to be doing exactly? Because we want to know about more about your culture. All right, we are giving a speech yeah. in, in form of a, of a poem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it represents like all the tribes in South Sudan. South Sudan. Yes, yeah. we're having two poems. And we have a dance, and that dance is com it's a combination of all the tribes. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Equatorian, the Dinka, and the Nuer, and the others. What is the main tribe in South Sudan? Uh, actually, we don't have the main tribe in South Sudan. Okay, the biggest. Here we have so many tribes, but Baganda is... Dinka. Yeah. 
Brother, how are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm okay. What's your name? My name is Sempa Aaron Kitrecious. All right. Which course are you doing? I'm doing Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Public Health. Yes. All right. Which culture are you representing? Right now, I'm representing the Banyoro culture, where my grandmother comes from. Okay. Yes. So, you know, but this dress code, someone may tell, may think that you're a Muganda. Even myself, I thought you were a Muganda, by the way. Yes. So, how, how does this look, look a bit different? from the kind of councils that people from Baganda put on? Well, <coughs> the Baganda culture has their councils with a sort of design. Unfortunately, my friend is not here. Yeah. A sort of design to mimic the shield and the drum yeah, yeah, yeah. that are used in the coat of arms in that culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, which is not the case with Bunyoro. Mm. Though the Bunyoro, I won't be able to... So do, do, you, have, uh, do you have any others, like you said, the shield and the spear, so that, that anything to represent Banyoro on, on, the, on, the, on the council? Well, this council <laughs> was adopted from the slave traders who came during the times of the Omukamas then. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> they saw this, this kind of dress code and respected it yeah, yeah. and decided to adopt it as their own. Yeah, yeah. I'm representing the Buganda culture. Buganda culture? Yeah. Are you well versed with everything concerning that culture? Uh, a bit, I should say. A, a bit, bit, yeah. A bit, yeah. Yes. So now imagine uh, this was your introduction and the Bako are here. How would you express yourself uh, to them? The flag, microphone yeah. is here. I'm, I'm the Bako. I'm giving you my brother. <laughs> okay. The flag would divide into four part. parts. The, the, so, the white, upper and, and lower parts are red and color. Is that day? I said we never knew. Right and left. You have to, right to reply. Hand. Yes, <laughs> 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 